Hi everyone, it's Julianne. Um, it is 9 o'clock at night and I'm just about to put my son to bed. He's watching a little cartoon before night night time. Um, and I thought it would be a decent opportunity to make a little video. Um, FYI, I am not a New York Giants fan, uh, but unfortunately my husband is. <laughs> um, he's from New Jersey, so I guess he has a valid reason to be a New York Giants fan. Uh, I'm a diehard CX fan, so anyways, uh, that's why I'm wearing this. I'm just cold and he's on duty, so he's gone all night, so um, it's like my little piece of him when he's gone. But anyways, so um, today I am nine days past IUI, which is very similar to if you were to just naturally ovulate, it'd be like nine days past ovulation. The trigger is out of my system and I am officially at a very white negative, a very big, big fat negative for all you TTCers. <laughs> um, so how do I feel about that? I, to be honest, I'm sure I'm not pregnant with the cycle, so I'm not holding my breath. Um, I'm feeling, I'm just going to be really candid, I'm feeling very, um, kind of mad, honestly. I feel upset, mad, sad. Um, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know why things happen the way they do. Um, you know, a lot of people are saving money for their kids' tuition or for a house or, you know, whatever. And we're like saving every single dime just to conceive a child. And it just doesn't seem fair. You know, like I always wonder, like, what did we do to deserve this? Um, I just, it doesn't make any sense. And I've been on both sides of the table, you know, so I'm kind of a unique case, I guess, or unique, you know, a unique mom, <laughs> a unique person, I guess, in this situation because I conceived my child, I have right now, who's five, um, like a, a one night oops with, you know, um, a man that I barely knew, really. And it was truly that, a one night oops. And I was very young. I was 18 when I got pregnant. And, um, and here he is, you know, I'm so incredibly blessed to have my son. There's, there's no greater joy, greater blessing. I feel, I feel so blessed to have him. And, um, you know, it's hard because there are even family members who say, you know, I don't understand why this is so hard. At least you have one on and on, which is painful because I understand where they're coming from. Um, but they can't understand where I'm coming from. And by me wanting more children and wanting a child with my, the love of my life, my husband, um, is different than having a child with somebody that I struggle to even communicate with and go to court with and can't stand and yada, yada, yada. Uh, it's just a different, it's just different. You know, when you marry somebody and you love someone so much, you, that's like the next step. You want to have a family. You want to have a child that looks like both of you that you both just adore and whatever. And besides that, I, I just, I want to give Madden a sibling so bad. Madden is my son, by the way. Um, and he's to the point now where he asks about it all the time. You know, he's five and he told, he tells me all the time that he wants a brother. He wants a sister. He can't wait till mommy has a baby in her tummy. And like, of course he has no idea that we've been trying for three years unsuccessfully. But, um, anyways, I'm not trying to explain myself because I don't think I should have to explain myself, but, um, I am, I am just wanted to be known that I adore my son and I don't know where my life would be without him. Um, he's everything to me. But he has, he has no, you know, there, there's him and then there's trying to conceive this child and they're totally separate in my, in my mind. So it really frustrates me when people try and compare the two and when people try and say like, oh, you have Madden. So I don't know why it's such a big deal. And it's, it's not really fair to even compare because he's, he's truly a blessing and I am so lucky to have him. Um, and I know that, however, I, I feel like I came alive when I had Madden and I am so, I just feel like that's my calling kind of is to be a mother. And I think I'm a great mother. I have a wonderful child and he's turning into an amazing young man. And there's nothing that makes, brings me bigger joy than being a mom. And I know that I want more children and I know that I want, you know, a child with my husband and we adore each other. We love each other so much. We've been married, you know, a couple of years now. I've been together for four. And 
uh, we've known since the time we met, literally the first, our first date, we talked about having children and, um, you know, at that point he had never been in like a, a really serious relationship where they've been trying to have kids. He's never been married and he didn't know that there was an issue with, you know, sperm count. And, um, so we had no idea. So we assumed once we got married and we instantly started trying, we thought that it would happen right away. Cause you know, I'm fertile obviously. And, um, we just assumed that he was also. So, um, so yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm kind of blabbing, but I'm just trying to vent a little bit and kind of share my background. Um, so like I said, I had Madden when I was 18. Uh, I grew up really fast. I was a full-time property manager working about 70-ish plus hours a week and just having people basically babysit Madden and almost raise him so that I could make a living to provide for him. And I met my husband um, when Madden was one. So I, you know, I went for a while by myself and he came in and was hero and saved us really, I feel like, and gave us a new purpose. He's, he came in and is an, is a amazing father figure to Madden. He considers him his own. He's, he's just absolutely amazing. Um, he's a chief in the Navy. He works really hard. He makes good money. Uh, he's been in the Navy for 14 years and, uh, he's a great guy. He has, <laughs> I can't even say anything bad about him. And, um, so it's just painful that we're so in love and we have so much going for us. We have a beautiful house, you know, we can provide. It's just like, I just keep trying to find some reason why the universe and why God is not giving us this child. And I can't figure it out and it's driving me crazy and it's completely 100% out of my control, which makes it a hundred times worse. Um, I'm a control freak in general, uh, but especially with things that make no sense. I mean, I, I have friends my age who are having their third child or people who are single and have, you know, three babies by three different dads. And I'm absolutely not trying to start anything or say anything bad about you guys at all. Cause everybody has their own journey. I'm just saying, I feel like we, we should have a, ch we should have the chance to have a child. I just don't understand why it's so hard. So, um, so anyways, like I said, Back to the point. I'm nine days past IUI. I have a completely big fat negative. I'm I'm not pregnant. I mean, I just know I'm not. So we just wasted a few hundred extra dollars on this IUI. And um, I guess we're gonna retry IVF again in January. It's gonna be a long few months until then. And if it doesn't work, then holy shit. <laughs> Excuse my language, but um, that'll be it. I mean, we can't really afford more IVFs, so I don't know what we're going to do. Um, yeah, it's just depressing. Very depressing. I've been praying like crazy for the past three years. We've been trying for three long, good, full years, and I pray every single day and night for this baby, and it's not happened, so I'm not sure where to go from here, but anyways, thank you guys for listening. <laughs> I'm sorry to be so negative. I'm just trying to kind of give you a glimpse into my life, but um, I may take a break for a while. I don't know for sure, but this is kind of my update and what's going on.